Alright. So, I was given a free copy of this game by the developers. Uh, in exchange for doing some content on it. So, we're going to take a look at this game today. I played a little bit of it. Uh, but I'm far from an expert. But I, I've at least figured out how the game works. This was made, by the way, by the same people who made Northgard, if anybody's familiar with that game. <laughs> Hitting the big legs? Nah. Sometimes they just blast out copies to a bunch of streamers. Even us little guys. So, I've played as the Fremen. Both for lore reasons and they have some neat abilities. So over on here, you pick two counselors out of four. And they give you some sort of passive bonuses. I like her, because you can see where all the spice fields are right at the beginning of the game before you even scout, which is very useful. And this guy has some nice benefits here. So this game just came out in early access, like maybe a week or two ago. So it's still under development, but playable. That's been pretty good so far. Alright, pause. So, can't really see the regions yet, but the, the world is chopped up into regions like this. These are where all the spice fields are, which I know because of that one counselor I have. So we need to get a spice field as soon as possible. So I need to scout down here. And I need to hire some military. Alright, unpause. Alright, so you get... This is uh, another region here. Actually, this is part of the region. We just haven't seen it yet. So each region will have a village in it. And you have to take the village over to control that region. Which you have to do to get the uh, resources there, such as the spice. It seems a pretty proper Dune game without the charming Lake Camp uh, cutscenes, yes. Alright, uh, so we use the Ornithopter to scout and also to reveal what these question marks are. This is probably a village because it's got the stone here. I think I will need to turn off my camera because it's blocking some stuff. Uh, wait, wait, capture. Okay. So we've got access to our diplomacy stuff up here, but plus we want to be able to see these. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's our village. Now I'm going to turn the Ornithopter to auto recon. It'll just go and continue exploring by itself. So I need to take over this village so I can get this spice. They have two militia units that I need to beat. But I just trained these guys. We'll move fast. We'll hide our tracks. Taking position. I guess I could put my camera in the lower right, but eh, I'm not that worried about it. Pop up down there sometimes, I think. What does Liet command? So we have another stat here. In addition to their health, armor, and damage, we've got supply, because the game models the idea that we're in a harsh desert environment. So you have a stat called supply. Supply will diminish when you're outside of your own controlled territory. And if it empties out, then they'll the unit will start taking damage. So your people can just die out in the desert if you send them too far. Yeah, also 
my home base has a mortar cannon. So that's helping us out here a little bit. I think we're on the extreme range end of it. So, <laughs> good pause point there. One thing I want to show as well is this is the main, right here is the main reason. I mean, there's a couple of reasons why you want spice, obviously, but the main reason is every 22 days you have to bribe the spacing guild and this circle fills in showing you your time limit how much time's left so i need to have 150 units of spice before the circle fills up or else i'm given a penalty also we have basically a ongoing series of objectives here to tell us what we're doing. Alright, beat the militia. And we take control of the village. This costs water and authority points. Every territory you want to take over costs water. Okay, there's a water cellar caravan here. We can. Well, I don't have the ability to do this right now, but what you one could theoretically extort a fine of money from them, or I could spend money on them to gain authority points with propaganda, which I can do, but don't want to. Have I read the books? Some of them. I mean, I read the main Dune book and I read the prequels about the houses, but I haven't read the sequels. Good story. Okay. Okay, the next step is to control the village with spice, which is what I'm working on right now. I like the look of the ornithopters. I don't know how accurate it is to the original, but they look cool. I think this is based on the new movie remake that came out recently. Okay, we now have this village. So we can make buildings in it and we can hire militia to protect it. All right, so first I'm gonna build a spice collector. Okay, this has rare elements. So I can build a processing plant if I take this place over, which gives me more money every... Arrakis is our home. However many, however often it takes over. Alright, so now we also have a research tree. When this, th when this bar fills up here, I'm gaining four points of knowledge per turn. When that fills this bar up, I get a development, which is basically a science... Thing. I can choose one of these four, and then they branch down. So I like these ones down here. These are the engineering ones, so this helps with infrastructure and economy. Ornithopters were always described as having insect like flapping wings. Yeah, it does have that. It's like a. That's what this is here. It's basically uh, a dragonfly. See? It's got a little jet, jet thruster in the back, but it has like. Flight wings. All right. We must go now. Right, next objective. Well, finish building that spice collector. Okay. What I would really like to get is a region with uh, some bonuses to Plaz Creek production. Because we're gonna need that rolling in. You know what? I'm gonna send these guys. Where are going? Can I help explore with these guys or no? Oh, this region up here—that's deep desert. Supply drains real fast out there, and there's no villages. We won't waste time. That place sucks. A nice spot for an ambush. There's, a, there's that village. I'm going to want that 
but not yet. We'll look for invaders there. I'm gonna class creep first. Yes, Lee. At the edge of the map here. We'll hide our tracks. Which is why I can't explore any structures because there's nothing there. Position. Here. All clear. Where are you? Uh, up there. Agreed. Go over here. On Let's our way. Place. Okay, I finished my spice uh, harvester down here. Oh, shit, there's a sandworm somewhere. Oh hell, there's a sandworm. In this area, I need to get these guys the hell out of here. Or I'm about to lose these units, probably. But okay, uh, another thing going on with... Spice. You got this bar here. This bar is showing me the ratio I'm keeping of how much spice I'm keeping and how much I'm selling to the Merchant's Guild. Chola. Right now, it's... One spice is worth two solari, which is the money. I am selling 30% of my spice at that rate. So I'm gaining 11 spice that I keep, and I'm gaining 10 solari out of selling my remaining five spice. I can change that whenever I want to. But right now I need to stockpile some spice. So I'm going to leave it like that. You get alerts here, are useful to have, such as getting the hell away from going. sandworms. Oh, it ate my 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 here. A nice spot for an ambush. Damn it. Get another building down here. Um, going to need to get some water gain as well. So, one of the stats we have down here, each region has a variable. Which I'm not sure if it changes over time, but for different regions will have a different amount of wind strength in them. So stronger winds can drain the supply of your units faster, but gives you water with a wind trap. Build a wind, wind trap here. Four is kind of average, but I need it. I need the water right now. Thank you for swatting that bot, Larson. Command. Yeah, okay, there's a point up here. So right now I've got composite materials, which reduce building construction costs and increases building repair speeds. So let me see, what do I want next? I want structured warehouses. It unlocks the processing plant and it makes the maintenance center cheaper. The maintenance center is something I can build that will make upkeep costs lower for buildings. If the spice collector is 8 solari and 12 plascrete upkeep, which kind of sucks, but it's important to have. Okay, this thing was a downed ornithopter. Um, oh, so it looks the same. We're ready to hunt the invaders. Okay, if I send my military into this ornithopter, I can repair it and have a second ornithopter. I can also buy them. I don't want to spend money on that right now. I do want another warrior. Although, the more warriors you have, troops cost water upkeep, so that could be a problem. Okay, so this area down here, we have a wind strength of two down there, probably because it's down lower. 
Uh, we probably don't want to take the silver next. Uh, strength three up there. Yeah. What about over here? Well, that's part of the same region still. Yeah, I need to be careful with my water right now. It takes, I think, five water to take over a new region. I've only got six. Although the wind trap hasn't been finished yet. Okay, now I have 18. Alright, so I have an agent now. Um, when this bar fills up over here, I get a new agent, which is kind of like a spy, but also like a worker. So I can assign my spy to a whole bunch of different things. And I will get different benefits for it, like I can investigate the planet itself. I guess it's kind of like a researcher. I get authority points, intel points, and some of these things. For example, if I had, um, I have this here. Use Arrakis infiltration agents to do this. I could retrieve the flight records of this ornithopter, and I would get intel points. Which, can, which is used to get more agents and also to do spy operations. But I've chosen to repair it instead. Uh, at the beginning, I like putting them into Choam Infiltration, which is the Merchant's Guild. I forget exactly what it stands for. It, I know it's, a, it's an acronym that I, I saw the other day, but I don't remember the, the exact thing for it, but I can get more Solari production if I put it here. I need that right now. But ultimately, the goal is to either take over Arrakis by force, or there's a couple of other optional win conditions you can set up. I don't know if they're... Uh, active by default. This stat up here we have is called Hegemony. One of the ways you can win is to max out your Hegemony before anybody else does. Even if you don't have that active, you can still get bonuses out of it. Let's see, if we go here. So normally I have these bonuses right now. Minus 30% supply drain, because we've got still suits. Allows you to form alliances with Siege outside your territory. That's useful to have. But we don't do so well in the council. But if I get up to 5,000 hegemony, I get these bonuses. I can use thumpers to attract... Actually, I can use that anyway. But I can use thumpers to attract sandworms, and I think that we can actually even ride them. Yeah, I'm going to use thumpers for worm riding. I've never done that actually, I'm not 100% sure if I can use them in battle or just to travel fast. But then at 10k I get uh, extra military power for my units, according to how high my hegemony is. Is it shown the space in gold? No, it is not. Space in guild is a different thing. Uh, let me see if there's in the game to tell me. Um, I, okay, the, thing, the thing is, I can sell spice to Choam, or I can give spice to the Spacing Guild as a bribe. These are different things. But okay, so I have that place down there. I don't... Creep bonus there. It looks like there's not. If so, would, this is the whole region. I would be able to see it if there was. Okay, Ornithopter, I know you're on automation, but I don't want you I don't want you exploring up there right now. I want you exploring over here. Actually, over down here. Larson, can you look up what Choam stands for for me, please? I 
only need. Yes. We'll look for Let's invaders go. there. I really need to take over the new region. I really want to find a place with a plat screen bonus. Not necessary, but a bonus is nice. I guess I can put it here. Oops. Raid detected. Alright. Can't see them yet, but somebody's coming at my place. Always stay alert. I haven't built any. We'll wait there. Uh, militant militia yet because I don't have manpower, which is another stat we have to keep track of. Point of interest investigated. Okay, I finished that. I will claim the ex helicopter. You want to Liet. search? Okay, we'll hide our tracks. Kill this guy. Uh -oh. We're ready to hunt the invaders. Get out of the deep desert, you fool! You're taking damage. Taking position. Okay. Arrakis is our home. So this is a neutral unit that is trying to, I think it's Fremen, but like neutral Fremens that aren't allied with me, they're trying to liberate this village. Set it back to neutral again. Combine on it over advanced mercantiles. That's the one. Very fancy name. Basically comes down to merchant combine. So you won't supply, you won't drain supply as long as you're in your own territory, but you have to be near the village to actually heal damage. We really need to take over a second. We must go place. now. Yes. No, I think I will do. Yes, Liat. Place over here first. We're going. Unless there's a plastic bonus down here. What do you need? Received. Yes. Okay, we got another development. Uh, advanced engineering. More health buildings, more plastic production. Yes. Hell yes. The there. These two guys are mil uh, melee. We'll guys. take them they by surprise. Oh. Trade request. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen where the territories of the other guys are yet, but one of them wants to trade with me. Hello, Baron. What do you want Svelte to? today? Okay, you want to buy influence from me, which is used in the council votes. You want a research agreement. You're going to pay me money. I accept that deal. <laughs> the Baron wants to trade with the Fremen. It seems very out of character, right? It's also kind of funny that he's coming to the Fremen to attain... Uh, of intel or like uh, not intel um, political influence from the Fremen silly right, so you can also pillage a village which rhymes apparently um, heavily damages the village loots the production render the village unstable for unusable for a month and you get cash out of it I would rather just get control of the village personally Oh, but there's a sandworm in this region. Oh, shit. Okay. The desert. Um, Surprise abandoned you. village. We're abandoned going village. Out. The fuck out. We 
must go now. Wow, this is that is bad timing. Right, we have another agent. Done. Um, I really need some more manpower production, so I'm going to assign this guy to the spacing guild. The desert will surprise you. We're going. Yeah, this is kind of bad because. Can't, can't flee through that, this deep desert. There's a sandworm in this region. And now I'm stuck on the far side of places I don't control. So my supply is draining. But I have to stay over here. Because I'll get eaten by a sandworm if I go anywhere else. This is very bad. Villagers have... Actually, you know what? You're right. It should be safe for me to stand on this rock. We'll look for invaders there. We'll wait there. Yes, Liat. I just can't walk away from the village. Okay, there we go. My spacing guild bribe was paid successfully. The next one's always higher. So now that I've bought their silence, I have plus one authority production. Help me take over villages. Oh, here we go. Minerals. Plus 50% plus creek factory resource production in that area. So that's my next village. Always stay over. alert. So I've been sitting here we talking about manpower. Us. It's a resource that is used to both purchase units and is an, a, uh, uh, what should I call it? A, uh, an upkeep for them as well. So I, I'm down to four points of manpower with a zero income. I can't bring in any more right now. So I am going to need to, actually, you know what? I might as well do that here. I don't have the plascrete for it, ironically. I can buy a recruitment office to bring in more manpower. I can't afford it right now. Liet. I can't build anything there yet. We're going. I'm gonna come down here and take this over. And get a lot of plasma. Shy Hulud, indeed. In fact, I have a building that is unique. I don't know if the other factions can make this. I can make a Shy Hulud temple, which gives bonuses to re resource productions in the region and its neighbors. But I can only ever have one. Guidance of Shai Halud strengthens the will of the people. On the lookout. Might build one here later. That would be a really good spot for it, because then anything I make yes, here, as well as these surrounding places, will all get bonuses. Also, hi Luca. Hello. What's we up? won't waste time. How goes the duning? It goes. Their armor won't stop us. Take over this village down here. Do you uh, familiarize yourself a little bit with the game, or are you just going into yeah. this blind? I did. I played uh, a few hours worth of it before. This is a new. Okay. I started a new. Uh, a new campaign up though. So I wasn't able to get Elden Ring working properly on my em or my emulator. My. Uh, PS4 remote play BS thingamabob, so I I guess bought the game a second time on PC. Yep. Uh, I, I don't mind giving it the first time. Because I didn't think it would work on my PC, but now that I, I know oh. that it works on my PC, I'm like, well, shit. I guess. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it works now, so, uh,. Yeah, I can actually start my Let's Play of it. In fact, I got video one recorded. But... 
probably better than on your uh, on your PlayStation 4, I would imagine. Um, when I'm not recording, it looks fucking beautiful. When I am recording, I gotta tone down the graphics a little bit, unfortunately. But it still looks good. Now I definitely sound quiet. Well, okay, hang on. My microphone has been a little fucky lately, apparently. How can I turn it up without background noise happening? Okay, you're definitely louder for me. Okay, we'll try that. Damn you, OBS! No, more like Windows. Windows, Windows jacked it up to 100% the other day. And, then, <laughs> and it was fucking up, uh, like it was peaking my microphone out, apparently. Um, now I'm trying to find a, a good spot for it again. Alright. This village will be very nice for us to have. No one likes a peeker. I mean, some people do. That's a fetish. Alright. Uh, first things first, we need a plot screen factory. Real bad. We will help if we can. A nice spot for an ambush. See, so, yeah, we are. I know you missed this part earlier, there, Luca. We are. We are playing as the Fremen. Yeah, my uh, Dune lore is really like shit, so I don't know who's the, the, who. The, what's the, what. the planet native population. Okay. You know the guys with the glowy blue eyes. I mean, the, uh, don't remember. I okay, I might have been fucking twelve or fourteen when I watched the Dune movies. And I haven't read oh, the books. Geez. I don't know if it's books or not. I'm, I'm so here we have our first council vote. Mm -hmm. We vote using this resource over here, influence, which we just sold some of. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe we won't need to. Let's see what's going on. So once in a while, this will pop up, and. There's always three things that come up here. So either vote for or against them. Plus 30% water upkeep. That will be unfortunate. I don't think anybody's going to vote for that. That's, in fact, I think everybody's going to vote against that. Uh, but I might as well, as well, just to make sure. If somebody else out there has tons of water and wants to fuck everybody else over, they might vote for it. Uh, minus 30% unit power would also kind of suck. But, we'll see. Uh, plus 30% authority production for one group. Somebody else might vote for that, and they can go ahead and do so. I am going to just vote against the water one, because I don't really care as much about the other ones. But that's going to take a few days before it happens, so... That's okay. No big rush. It looks like, I mean, based on the terrain, it looks like water is a very precious resource. Based on the terrain? Ah, oh, well, you haven't seen this in a long time, have you? <laughs> the entire game, the entire planet is a desert, so yeah. I mean, I know Spice is like the big trade yeah. theme of that's, Bob. But... That's why the planet is called Dune, because it's a desert. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> That will be difficult to get. Um, maybe I'll do that later. I didn't see the new movie either, Larson. I, yeah, uh, the Jason Momoa one. I no, want I to, haven't though. seen it. I like this. But because Plus two slurry per neutral village in the world. Pretty neat. Although that will diminish its usefulness over time. You know what? I can take survival training. Increase max supply by 50%. That'll be helpful. <laughs> we are listening. Can't array doubly so. <laughs> <laughs> it burns well. It does have electric light or electrolytes. We are going. So do the still suits. <laughs> do you remember what the still suits are? Nope. 
it's these special suits that you, they have to wear out in the desert. Basically, it's a it's a full like environment suit with tubes and such, so that uh, it can recycle your pee. So oh. wandering around the desert, you just pee freely as you're walking, and it filters it out to give you more drinkable water. <laughs> Uh, building. Uh, that's uh, something. The Ford now, I think. Yeah, um, it's got what plans crave. <laughs> Even the boy. Oh, oh, that's yes. gross. Not really. It's also survival. Do you do you want to I... recycle your own sweat, or do you want to die of of dehydration? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. I mean, I, I guess if it filters out all the salts and bacteria That's the point. and shit. That's the point. Alright, I mean, if it filters out, I guess go for it. Alright. Um, take over Excuse this me. village in a minute. Actually, I think I need... I need to be at the village to recharge my supply as well. Actually, no, I got some extra supply. Fuck it. You go for it. Um, I need to build a wood trap down here. There's good wind strength down here. Can't afford it right now. Well, Larson, when it comes to surviving, I, I don't think taste is really a factor. Like either you live yeah. or you die. You can, you can deal with some bad taste to make sure you don't die. Yeah, <laughs> sure not say today's turn to become yeah. surrounds coffee. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Good. I guess water is a very big deal here. I'm just I'm building a wind trap right now to make give myself more water. More agua. More agua. Actually, I don't have great wind strength in any of my regions right now. Water's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt until I take over yes. more places. Wait a second, I lost an ornithopter. How'd that happen? <laughs> And yet, if you do it via an African event, it's suddenly a delicacy. What? African civet? Uh, that is the. Uh, you've never heard of uh, poop coffee? No. So, there's. I'm not 100% sure why they do it this way. Um, there's a reason, I just don't remember it. There's in some place there's um, this type of coffee being that for some reason is very difficult to to process by humans. But what happens is there's this one animal and it's called a civet. It's kind of like halfway between a cat and a monkey. It's a weird looking thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Larson, can you can you post a, a link to a picture of a civet, please? Uh, anyway, it is it eats these coffee these coffee beans like the fruits. The coffee bean is inside, right? Mm-hmm. And then... But it, it can't... It digests the fruit, but it cannot digest the bean. So later on, it poops the bean back out. And then people collect the poop and wash it off and use the beans to make coffee. And it's very expensive coffee. But apparently it is very, very, very good. I'll stick to my. Oh yeah, I've seen those things before. Yeah, those are the actually, it looks like a, it looks like, animals. It looks, it looks like a, actually it looks like a cross between between a uh, leopard, a raccoon, and a hyena. A few things, yeah. I I'm just very confused right now. I lost an ornithopter, and I don't know why. And that's the first time that's ever happened to me. I didn't know you could lose I'll, ornithopters I'll, I'll, in this. I'll stick to my basic bitch, uh, Maxwell's and. Uh, mm -hmm. Dunkin' Donuts coffee. 
Not Starbucks, because Starbucks charges too goddamn much, mm. and plus, their, their, their shit's just not that good. It's genetically, it's a genetically engineered coffee processor. Not really. Well, now you're confusing me, Larson. Well, he's saying that the animal is the coffee processor. Uh, oh, so hello, stemmed. Hello. Okay, more command points. Less manpower upkeep. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so alert. Jesus. What is this? Oh, yeah, this is this thing. I'm waiting for more authority points. Raid detected. Oh, shite. Okay, hang on. We are protect that, but I also need to resolve this. Heck. Alright, I'm gonna come home. back here a minute. Go get that guy. Can't just hang out here forever. How is Stemmed Elsewhere doing today? You know what, actually, let's get the camera back on. Yeah. I'll just have to move it. Uh, over there. Shouldn't be blocking anything. Doing okay. Yeah, I turned it off at first because my face was blocking this stuff up here. Okay, we're going to assign this guy too. I need. Uh, influence is good. But, yeah, I really need authority right now. Defense complete. I don't want to go get this. Actually, can I even make it there? Probably not. We'll look for invaders there. I wanted to claim that ornithopter, but it's too deep into the desert. I don't think I'll survive the trip. All right, let's go back and re-reclaim this over here. I see a red border. I think that means that this is a uh, Harkonnen territory over here. Oh, and that's green, so Atreides is up there. Oh, I have to reattack this place. We will help if we can. Combat isn't riveting, but it's it's, it's RTS. Very basic RTS, more strategy than action. More like Civ without turn orders? Yeah, it's kind of hybrid. Like I said earlier, uh, before you got here, Larson, this game is made by the same developers that made a game called Northgard. I don't know if you've played that or seen that. That's my skirmisher. It's pretty good, too. Uh, some basic similarities to this, although not exactly the same. What's for dinner today, Luca? I see you're in, you're in chat now rather than Mike, but what is... Let us know what you're having for dinner. Pasta? That's vague.
Okay, let's see. Got some good Plascrete going. So what else I can do... You get two building slots per air, per village normally, but you can buy up to three more by spending Plascrete. I need a recruitment office. Yes. Yeah, I noticed that Stanley Parable has an update with new content and stuff in it. I haven't played it. But I saw that it existed. It's especially important that I take this place over now because apparently Harkonnen's right there. I don't want them to take it. There's a new council coming up. I, I didn't... I never checked to see what the resolution of the last one was. Okay, also I should be able to build something else down here too. I guess I'll make another... Actually, wait, no, I'll build. Um, let's see. I'm making maintenance center, it'll apply to all of these places, actually. So let's do that. Oops, one of these. Hey, I reached my 2000 hegemony, which means I'm getting. I don't know what I'm getting at this point from that. Okay. Liet? On the lookout. A nice spot for an ambush. You need... You need a spice collector, but I can't afford it right now. The new Stanley Parable content messes with your mind more? I should hope so. I should hope so. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna build... I don't have enough manpower to build another guy yet. I'll have to look at the bit first. Okay, uh... Time for our council vote. Let's see. Temporary units... Manpower upkeep influence production. I don't have much in the way of influence points. I'm just going to save my points. Uh, although... Maybe I should try to get more. Well, this manpower production, that'd be useful. Uh, yeah, let's do that. this. Um, commission a masterpiece or help quote unquote spread culture. Alright, take 12 two new villages or gain hegemony for losing Solari. Oh, I don't like either one of these options. Although I have a lot of Solari, but that it goes fast. Um, I guess I'll hope this happens. Um, I do this yet? I can't afford it anyway. All right. Actually, maybe I should get another ornithopter, but yeah. I don't want to spend the money on that either. 
see if I could take these over and then I can access this. Extort to find, get some money. Normally, I wouldn't want to extort people. Taking position. I don't like the other option either. <laughs> you rewatched some cringe today, stemmed elsewhere. Black Station Hero, oof, so cringe. We won't waste time. That sushi bowl sounds nice, Larson. We're going. Let's see, where's my ornithopter right now? Ready for patrol. Over there, huh? Okay. Well, you keep doing your thing then. Juliet. Collectors, go. What does Liet command? Train for quest. How can I? Hello, help? smugglers. What would you like? You want to give me money and form a research agreement? I accept. So once I, you. Oh, I was about to say Where once I get that and then at? I got it. All right, we have four we military units there. now. Let's take this village over. Probably afford some militia now. There we go. They're not as good as proper military units, but they're at least something. We'll move fast. We will help if we can. Liet, we won't waste time. They don't belong oh, here. This place over. I put some more plaza crate down here. Well, you know, up here it'd be even better. Get him! Raid and a sandstorm. Now what? All right, where's the sandstorm? Okay, it's over there. The raid is down there. Oh, great. Well, yes. Let's claim this place real quick. Oh, I might lose that place. If I can get it back. What's that sandstorm doing? Can't see it. Sandstorms travel, so that could be dangerous. Yes, Liat. Okay, now. Take down position. here. 
real quick, guys. You. This is not a great place, but it's a stepping stone at least. Um, oh, I am low on water. I guess I'll make a wind trap here. Not great wind in this area, but we are listening. I'm out of water. Need it. What am I gonna build over here? Um, new research hub. We will help if we can. I'm, I'm draining manpower now too, so I should put a recruitment office there next. is our home. We'll get their water. Alright, let's get these guys. Oh, also I can start selling more water. Or more spice. We're ready to hunt the now that invaders. I've got two spice collectors going. I think these guys are going to get here just in time to stop the raid. Barely. Communication request. Hello, Leto Atreides. All right. Good talk. Move, guys, move. Luckily, one of my counselors is giving me a, a speed bonus. It would have taken me even longer to get here. Get out of here. <laughs> so far, the Baron has been more diplomatic than the Atreides, haven't they? We'll move fast. Weirdly enough. Okay. We'll hide Let's get our back tracks. over here. So I can take over that other spot. And also, I need... I can't afford it right now, but I need a recruitment office down there. Okay. Was it 128? Yeah. We're ready okay. to hunt the invaders. We won't waste time. Make sure I don't walk through the edge of the freaking desert here. Super worried about those things. Um, I could take any of this. Take some of this. We'll wait there.
So the music's giving you endless legend vibes? Have you tried humankind out, Larson? I forget if we talked about that or not. Okay, got another agent. Uh, what am I gonna do with this one? Humankind is is what happens when the people who make Endless Legend try to make civilization. It's, it's not quite as good as either game, unfortunately. Yes, Liad. Okay, that's done. And you know what? So you know what? I'll just do that. Okay. The desert will surprise you. This, does, this village is way up here, so it's going to be a little difficult to reach. Council vote. Um, I don't care much about that stuff. Okay. We won't waste time. Thankfully, I have bought some bonuses. Oh, hello. Smugglers are over here. What are they doing here when this is a trades area? That seems silly. Oh no, this is a smuggler land here, I guess. No. Is it? No. I'm a little confused right now. But okay, they're trying to take a remote outpost, I guess. It feels weird that the Fremen are a faction. It does a little bit, but it's kind of neat to be able to play them. Actually, you know what? We'll look for invaders there. I don't want my ranged guys being in melee, but I'm stuck with it now. I think they're good. I guess they wanted there to be more than just a Trades and Harkonnen, though. I'm not sure who else a third faction would even be. So they, they put in smugglers and Fremen. Oh, great, there's a sandworm here. Excuse me. I need to get onto your rocky plateau immediately. Thank you. Okay, there's decent wind strength here, so I'm going to build a wind trap here when I can. Sardaukar? Would that be a whole faction? Maybe. I don't remember enough about them. Oh, siege detected. Okay, so here we have our first neutral... Siege. So I can trade with them. I can trade them 10 water for 20 Solari production. And that will bring up my, my relation level. If I get the relation level up to 100, I can get some authority. No, it costs authority. It doesn't say what it will... Oh, here's the benefit. Plus 20% power to ally units in the region. That's not great. Solari might be nice, though. I'm gonna start trading with them. Plus, if I get this to 100, they won't raid me we anymore. At least this, this is uh, origin of them won't raid me anymore. But they'll still raid other people. Okay, uh, development. Minus 30% military units, water upkeep. Oh, and minus 30% supply drain. That's great. I'm gonna take that. Okay. First off, Hot Street Factory. What does Liad command? We won't waste time. Also, if uh we'll move fast. if Northgard is, is anything to judge by, since it's the same devs. We might get more factions later, because Northgard added Taking a whole lot position. of new factions as DLC over time. So this game will we probably do the same now. thing, I would imagine. So maybe we'll get Ordos 
and some others. We'll hide on. Okay, now I can get this thing safely. What's that? Oh. I'm out of water. That happened suddenly. Alright, I need to cancel this. Stop trading. Arrakis is back. our home. We'll look for I wait. What does Liad command? Okay. Oh, and I got a villager siege by, by the Harkonnen. God damn it. They waited until I was distracted. Of course they did. Heck. We're going. Why are you guys still dying? Well, you're still out of supply. That's why. We won't waste time. Well, there goes most of my military. is our home. Claimed by the desert. We'll hide our tracks. All right. Uh, you need a wind track. Okay. What does Liad command? So I'm definitely going to lose this village. Maybe I can take it back afterwards. We will help if we can. All right, here's my replacement troops. Uh, we won't waste send time. Send them over here for now. Hmm. What's this? Uh, deployed a new spice field. Well, I don't think I'll have the option to do either one of those things. You know what? I'm going to buy some Willisha up here. Now that is Harkonnen behavior, right there. He sets up a research agreement with me, then takes over my village. Some of a bitch. We'll hunt them down. All right. Yeah. All right, let's get a Fedaikin. Let's get two of them. No, I can only afford one. The thing that makes Harkonnen tough is they've got these. Dropship, troop dropship shuttles. I think they might be the only ones who can do that because I, I don't know how I can do that. Maybe my uh, sandworm riding is my equivalent. I don't know. What? Where did that shot come from? There shouldn't be anything over there. Yes. Arrakis is our home. Oh, they probably had the village build a defense turret over there. It's probably what that is. It's weird that they let them build it out of bounds of the map, though. We'll get them. We'll you know what? Fast. We Retreat. won't waste time. Killed the Harkonnen. Oh, one of the Harkonnen troops. But there's also militia. We'll move fast. But I killed the troops that are outside troops. Hello. Yeah, sure, why not? 
So I thought this was the Atreides, but I think it's actually Smuggler. So Atreides is probably over here somewhere. Yeah. These are my Ornithodras, I think. No, those are just the villages. Listening. We'll avoid the sun. Yes, avoid the sand. You should probably do that. Need more troops. Right, well, I've met. I've reached my maximum number of troops. You, you, troops cost command points, and I've only got a certain maximum I can have. So they don't want you to have huge armies in this game. There are researchers and things that can bring that up, though, but only by a certain amount. Um, all right, let's investigate that crashed shuttle. I've got another thing here. Desert Mastery? Yes, let's do that. Lead us to freedom. Freedom! Arrakis is our home. We will help if we can. Right, let's reclaim my village down here. Nice thing is when one faction takes over a village from another, buildings remain intact. So when I take this back, I don't have to rebuild my buildings. So I've got three regular warriors and a Fidaken, which is a bit stronger. Thank you very much. Alright, council vote. Which I really can't do a whole lot about, but tax negotiate. Well, that would be bad, but I could probably survive it. What's this? A register wreck, okay. Now they're coming back, because of course they are. And I'm weakened, so they're just gonna wipe the floor with me. You know what? Just get out of here. I need to flee. Willing. They're going to just destroy me. I need to heal. This is your fault, Larson. You made this happen. I blame you. Uh, okay, down there. You know what? I'm going to build a missile battery over here, because fuck these guys. Kagi Bastard just hanging out here. You know what? I'm going to try using some thumpers after this. 
can see if I can ride a sandworm into battle. And just fuck these Harkonnen troops off the map. I know, Larson, I've played that game. I, I've played the other Dune game from Westwood. I've definitely heard that track before. I just don't remember it. guy's range. Okay. So I can start shelling these guys once I start fighting them. Place Thumper. Place it. Oh. Can only be placed close. Okay. Oh. Pick a destination. Okay. Here. I don't know how this works. We're gonna find out. I am El Back. I am the back. Hey oh, fuck. El Baco. What does Leah oh, I see. I absorbed two of my troops and is bringing them down there. Okay. Yo, yo quiero Taco Bell. Listening. Where are you, Harkonnen fucksticks? That sandworm ride was not quite as dramatic as I was expecting. <laughs> um, wait, village under siege? Now what? Oh shit! I'm losing that place now. <clears throat> and there's an operation against me here. Somebody has done a spy operation to poison reserves, drain 50% supply, and 100% health regen. So that's a bad place to be. Okay, yeah, that, that village is fucked. I've lost that village. But hopefully I can get this one back. So I'm curious, is this like a civilization where you like make your own towns or do you have to like find and like take you find over? Them, you find them and take them over. Oh, okay. It's kind of Civ light, but it's also kind of RTS light as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of unique. Cause I'm, I, I, I watched you play this, I'm like, man, I kind of want to revisit uh, the last Civ game I played was Civ 3, which is old as really? shit. Really? Yeah. I've never played 5 and 6. Nope. I do own I them, though. I would, my recommendation to you is skip 4, but definitely play 5 and 6. They are great. I've heard nothing but bad about 4. <laughs> 4 is uh, I haven't heard. Yeah, I haven't heard too much on five or six but yeah three was the last one i played actually i got a let's play that on my uh, youtube channel funny you know that's also when i had my first copyright strike because paramount yep. doesn't like me i don't think they like anyone no they don't fucking dmca pieces of shit anyways <laughs> yes cat hi how are you <laughs> A bit warm in here. That window up a bit more. Okay. Oh, I lost a man's. Lost a five point man's. Okay. Oh, I didn't lose the. Oh, I, I am in the process of losing that still. But I might be able to get up there in time. With a sandworm, possibly. Maybe. <laughs> a bit warm, how nice for you, says the Norseman. I lost an ornithopter again. Why does that keep happening? Maybe. Oh, God. Base I could go the. God damn it, Harkonnens. Get the fuck out of here. I could go the rest of my life without seeing snow and die a happy man. I don't know. I, I think okay Alaska. With that too. I think Alaska ruins snow for me. <laughs> Actually, no. Illinois ruins snow for me. God damn it! They won't let me keep. How are they coming up with these military so fast? We are listening. Okay, hold on. You. Uh. Okay. 
I'm gonna ride a sandworm into battle. Or at least close to battle. Yep, Larson, I'm trying to stay in, in Fremen character over here. This is why you don't want your territory right next to Harkonnen territory, by the way. Are they, uh... Not that anybody was wondering. It was kind, are of, they, are they, uh, kind of obvious. Are they, are they, are they like a war-friendly type of faction? War, uh, Harkonnen are basically pure evil. Think, think of the worst... Like, the most evil dictators in the world, and that's basically the Harkonnen. Gotcha. I think I'm gonna lose this game. Whereas the characters I'm playing are... They're the natives of the planet, so they're, they're like... The eco-friendly, just want to be left alone... One with... being one with the planet, and guerrilla tactics type people. Okay, I might be pulling this off purely because of my Fidekin troop, because he's a badass. He also gets stronger for every enemy unit he's fighting. So, since I was fighting four people at once, he was getting a big buff. This is making me think when I was playing as, I think it was the Vampire Counts, I had... This was a total Warhammer. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I had like four sets of doors. It was like, God damn it. roughly... Stop sending in reinforcements, you assholes. <laughs> it was like roughly 4,000 dwarves against my, like, 3,000 undead or whatever. I mm -hmm. somehow fucking survived. Didn't lose any of my major units or any of my generals or heroes. And I was just like, how the fuck did I pull that off? But there were so many goddamn dead dwarves. <laughs> I bet. Like, like, if any of you watching have seen the uh, Battle of the Bastards, it was basically that battle. <laughs> like, there was a gargantuan pile of dead people. or well, dead dwarves. Jeez. Oh, this is a close fight, but they've got reinforcements as waiting, like assholes. Sadly, it was a big victory because it kind of ruined all my momentum, but it did help me in the long run because I was able to reinforce my numbers quicker than they were. So I was able to kind of steamroll through their territory before they That's kind of what's happening to me right now. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of the perks of playing the undead is you can just like mass create, like discard units you know, like skeletons and zombies and shit, and you can just kind of steamroll through settlements. I was thinking. I obviously can't do that with the faction you're playing as. I think the Harkonnen must have a lot of. Uh... Oh, do I have one? An unspent one still? They're doing that here, I think, because they've got. Okay, I don't have one yet. I think they've done a lot of these because they are. They're, they're producing more guys than me, and faster than me, apparently. Um, can I use a thumper on the enemy troops? No, I can only use them... Uh, <clears throat> ...to ride. It's basically a vehicle for me. this event. Something I can't do. Alright. Right, now I can do one of these. Um... Alright, I don't know why these guys hung back, but it is saving my ass. I'm glad they did.
So I've had to go from expansion to just fighting to survive. Okay, we'll hold back a bit, huh? Interesting. Nice little buildings they have here. With wind trap. Airfield. Oh, that's how the shuttles are working. Okay. It's a building that they do. And a military base. Oh, they're getting bonus power in neighboring regions, which is what's happening here. Okay, so that's no good for me. I need to take that city. Because it is no bueno for me. I was going to say, uh, yeah, you're fighting to survive. This reminds me of a, uh, a lost yet. Let's Play I did of Rome Total War, where I played as the Seleucids, which are basically Greeks. Oops. And I was pretty much on the ropes with Egypt, but I survived this one battle, and that actually gave me a chance to survive, and eventually I made a motherfucking comeback, and I'm really sad that the uh, hard drive that that Let's Play was on got destroyed, or not destroyed, but like, it just basically uh, short-circuited, and yeah, I lost a lot of gameplay footage from that, but God, it was such a good playthrough, too, is the Seleucids. Yeah, hoplites in a uh, room to the war, right? <laughs> they're, they're pretty ridiculously strong. Oh, yeah, that's a classic thing. Oh, they're busy. Listening. While you guys are distracted, I'm going to attack your city. <laughs> you might turn around, but you're going to be damaged by these guys. But you know what? When you go up and around. Trade they catch class. their city theme, Please. Bob. I accept. Well, this is me reclaiming my city from them. Oh! <laughs> it just took a while. We're Arrakis Claws. We're one with the desert. We trust you, Liet. <sighs> well, so tomorrow's my Friday light, because... I've been working the last six days straight, and I'm drained. Time for a break, sir. Indeed. Especially with all the bullshit I've been dealing with. Okay, that sense of ignore near my combat. I'm sorry about that. I <laughs> When I was practicing the game a little bit, or like I should say not practicing, but learning the game the other day, uh, there was one point at which somebody was coming to raid one of my villages, and then a sandstorm showed up and swept over the village that was under attack and just wiped out the attackers. <laughs> nice! Which was great, because my military was busy somewhere else or wiped out at the time. Like I don't remember, for some reason I couldn't go over and fight them. But Sandstorm did my did my job for me, so that was beautiful. There's other times where I had to dodge out of the way of Sandstorm at the last second. Oh great, now there's a sandworm, and of course it's here. Okay, I've been attracted by the combat. Get off the sand! Worm sign! Worm sign! This makes you think of the. Uh multiple failed attempts by the Mongolians to invade Japan because they kept getting, like, wrecked by monsoons. Hmm. God damn Mongolians! Okay. Now we're gonna get steamrolled by these guys. To the Fremens. <sighs> what would happen? You can come over here. What happens if I summon a sandworm in the middle of the combat? Actually, Larson, you're, you're making me think of like how I would do a uh, Game of Thrones slash a Song oh, of Ice and Fire okay. RTS, but Crusader Kings exists, and it's basically that already. And they, that I think Crusader Kings has a mod for Game of Thrones. So, All right, thankfully, I've got a fit uh, an elite in this combat, which is helping, but I'm outnumbered. Although, the Fidekin love being outnumbered. As it makes them stronger. But we'll see how that turns out. So Not do you, uh... Do, uh... Units gain experience with yeah. fights? 
I'm not sure okay. what the effect of that is exactly, but they do. I was gonna say, I, I imagine a game like this would have like a uh, veteran uh, type of thing. Well, the Fideikin's already an elite unit by default. Like, it's just a bigger, stronger melee guy. Mm -hmm. And he has a special ability called Against the Odds that gives him more strength and more armor the more enemies he's fighting at a time. I mean, because I was gonna say, like, I don't know why oh. the hell those guys retreated. They were gonna win, and now they're gonna lose. All right, I'm not arguing. <laughs> why fight the results if they benefit you? Right. We don't have enough money to hire no more troops right now. That, that's actually something I've always found curious about StarCraft, uh, both StarCraft and StarCraft 2, is that like it'll tell you how many units a particular like person has killed that's on your side but there's no like perks to that kill count there's no like veterancy benefits or anything like that and i think that would actually be a good edge to have for like your uber elite units and shit as opposed to just you know like oh hey this battle cruiser killed 47 units oh great but is it any better than one i just built no we are listening we're mm -hmm. going actually larson talking about uh Potential of an RTS that's not about fighting other factions, but more about dealing with natural hazards, hazards and scavenging resources. Northgard, also by this developer, as I said earlier, is a lot like uh, that. Like you, do, you do fight other factions to some degree, but the majority of the level, like the majority of each level is really more about you versus the environment. That and, That's kind of what I wish um, They Are Billions would have been. Uh, well, actually, kind of. Well, that was a great well, game. Oh, it, oh, yeah, it's a fantastic game. I mean, I played it uh, a couple days ago because I wanted to see if there's any new updates to it, and there were a couple, and yeah, I had a little bit of fun with it, but um, no, I kind of like the idea of, um, or at least in, in my mental state, like, I thought it would be a great idea to have the undead just be, like, a natural hazard, but you also compete against various uh, uh, other AI factions or player factions for, like, resources, weapons, shit like that. Similar to how, like, The Walking Dead kind of kind of touched on that with um, the various communities within it, but uh, what's the whisper are again, do they kind of threw that shit away and oh, just said, oh yeah, it's just... The, go ahead. They are billions Walking Dead edition could be interesting. I'm actually surprised I haven't done that yet. I mean... There's, there's like with uh, the 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 show Ruby that I watch. Uh, I know you're, I know you're familiar with it because of how much I've talked about it. But like with Ruby and uh, The Walking Dead and even Game of Thrones, like the game design choices they made with these um, IPs, I'm like, you're missing out on so many opportunities to make mega fucking dollars off of like for Ruby hack and slash for Game of Thrones, like Crusader Kings or The Walking Dead. Um, they are billions, or even like a Fallout-based version of that game. Like, there's so much shit you could do, and they're not doing it. And I'm like, what are you doing? You could make so much money off this shit. Good. But I mean, I okay. guess at the same time, you got you got to find the right developer and whatnot. I'm kind of clawing my way back from constantly defending myself against the Harkonnen, but surely that's temporary. And I'm losing this village over here now. I already lost that one. Nothing I can do about it, though. Summon the Rancor! Yeah. That'd be <laughs> nice. Steve Job of the Hood's like sand just um... coasting around. Man, I'm I'm in a bad spot. Starting close to the Harkonnen really sucks. Not that the smugglers and the Atreides won't attack you too, but I think if there's any kind of realism set up here, we will help the, if uh, we can. We're here. The Harkonnen should be more aggressive. I guess I'm gonna have to let them take that because the I need to defend. My shit. Otherwise. Did I ever play Rebuild 3 Gangs of Deadsville? No, I haven't, but I've got it on my wish list. It looks interesting. Yeah, the instant I leave, they go take that back. 
This uh, isn't burn twelve. Well. Could, could you could you give me a quick synopsis of that one burn twelve? The basic thing that I know about Rebuild Three is that it's like a a city management game, but with a zombie apocalypse involved. Hmm. I don't know anything more specific than that. So, what? Some city with zombies? As far as I know. Or possibly after the zombies have happened and they're rebuilding it. Thus, hence the name, I guess. <laughs> World War Z. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really upset that the uh, fucking film had absolutely nothing to do with the book. Alright, so I lost that. The sand. Pretty much it was zombies, but crappy graphics. It was all right though. I, mean, I don't give a shit about graphics. I just care about gameplay. I care a little bit, but the gameplay is definitely more important. Well, like for me with graphics, like if it's an RPG or like if I actually like you know, like like uh, Elden Ring or Dragon Age or Mass Effect, then yeah, I care about graphics. But if it's an RTS, yeah, graphics are secondary to everything else. Well, it's not RTS. It's more like Civ. Right, uh, tur uh, turn-based strategy, stars. as opposed to real-time. Yeah. I don't care about I graphics mean, in a game I, like I, that, I, in so much as I don't want them to look like dog shit. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Because some of them really do. The, sand muffles our steps. the uh, Command & Conquer remaster, oh, Red Alert, and the original remaster, like, they didn't really update much on the graphics, they just kind of... Depixelated a lot of the uh, the units and shit, so they're a little bit more, I guess, "quote unquote" HD. But mm -hmm. I mean, it still it still looks pretty the solid. And like Actually, you can yeah, tell, there's a good can... point there. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but he's saying uh, good art direction is more important than graphical fidelity. And uh, yeah, I think this game here is a good example of that. Like, this is not the most detailed graphics you've ever seen, like photorealistic graphics you've ever seen in your life, but it's got a, a really good art direction to it. Like, it's, it's borderline cartoony, but not quite. It's, 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 it's just got a good aesthetic to it. It looks nice. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, Larson also added that Riller 2 looks gorgeous to say. I 100% agree, and I think uh, Riller 3, um, in spite of its flaws, looks really fucking good. Hell, I think uh, Tiberian Sun, which was released in 1999, still looks pretty damn good, even though it's a 2D game. Mm -hmm. Also, that was the last, uh, I believe, Command & Conquer game that was developed solely by uh, Westwood Studios before the EA acquisition. Rigador sounds familiar. What's that one again? I mean, I've heard of Brigadier, but that's like an old PlayStation 2 turn-based strategy game. And that one... Oh, no, our, one. Our, I think you're thinking of Brigandine. Brigandine? Was it Brigandine? Me, 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 me. So this, there was a game called Brigandine around that era. Bring Maybe both saying. games existed. No, I'm not looking for hotels. In New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We will help. I don't want to go to the armpit of the United States. Wreck everything with your vehicle game? Hold on. Let me look up Brigador. <sighs> I don't remember the name of the damn game. Dark Cell is super reminiscent of Riller 2. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, it's like a mech game. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I have my eye on it. Oh, right, this is our home. We will help. oh yeah, you're right. It is Brigadine. That's the uh, the turn-based one that I'm thinking of. Yeah, and like you, there's like a hex grid, and you, you summon monsters. And yeah, have them fight and level up. yeah. I had that. I had the first game actually. I didn't finish so, it, but I had it. So when I was like, I don't know, shit, fucking Queen. six, five years old or whatever, there was a game I loved the shit out of called Dragon Force. No, it's not to the metal band. Um, but it was basically a RPG slash RTS game. Mm -hmm. And 
I thankfully I do have a copy of it. It cost me a arm and a leg to get it, but I do have it. And I also have an emulator to play it on, and also the original uh, Sega Saturn, which it was released on. Um, but Brigadine was a game my dad got for me. Cause he said, like, it reminds uh, him of that game. That was kind of him saying, like, hey, I know we don't have, you know, Dragon Force anymore, but here's this one if you want to play it. And I was like, okay, I'll play it. I played it for, like, an hour. And I'm like, yeah, this game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a new Brigandine game being made now, actually. Bleed. I think I saw a trailer for for one. Do I still have I mean, one with these guys? Yeah, okay. So this is nice, because I've got... There's this neutral faction here that I've got a trade agreement with. <laughs> so they should not be raiding me anymore, but they're going to raid the Harkonnen still. Not because they have oh, an agreement good. with me, but that's just... They raid everybody. And I'm friends with them, so they won't raid me. We are listening. Actually, yeah, you're right, Lars. That shit does look like Red Alert 2. And I was looking at uh, some images of Brigador. It does look a lot like Red Alert 2. They don't I'm get more water here. over here. But I'm gonna wait for these new troops first. The desert will surprise you. We'll wait there. Uh, I wish today was Tuesday. Fuck, I don't wanna go to work in... ...however many hours. So at least four. Let me show on what time is it. It's 6.56 for me, so... I think this building here is the Harkonnen's main home base. And those things are very hard to crack, by the way. Like, you can take over their villages and whatever, but... Taking over their HQ is very difficult. But if I took over the rest, all of their villages, I would at least neuter their, uh... Economy? Their economy, yeah. Arrakis is our home. I mean, that's generally what I do in a, uh, a strategy Four game is I always try alert. to take out the economy. Because if you take out the economy, then whatever military they got doesn't mean shit. Well, the, the military they have would mean something, but once you once you kill off their military, they won't be able to replace it. Yeah. Good night, Lawson. Have a good one. Good night, Six dude. Six hours of sleep before work is, is, is an absolute minimum, I agree. Not even a very comfortable minimum, but... I mean, I I've been... fucking... Uh, and I, I, I would say this is a good thing that I've been getting like, you know, 12 to 13 hours of sleep, but it's just been like off and on 12 to 13 hours of sleep, because it's just like I'm... When I'm off work, I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna tune in watch a couple of YouTube videos like I've been watching Mappos play through of Elden Ring and then I'll watch some other shit namely the fucking drama going on with uh, uh what's this fucking ass uh, I'm I'm pretty that, far behind that one guy on, on my Mappo videos right now because he puts out so much content but uh I have been amused by watching him um continually kill himself because he's made some sort of wild assumption based on nothing yet again I, I, I really like that he's trying to explore everything in Elden Ring, yeah. but at the same time, I'm like, dude, can you just get on with it already? Because, Jesus, last, you weren't. Yeah. Last night I was watching him uh, jump to his death because he assumed there would be no falling damage in an area just because there's floating rocks in the air. Yeah. He's like, oh, there's floating rocks, therefore there's gravity magic going on here, therefore I can I can just jump all the way down. No. <laughs> Doesn't work that way, friend. We must go he, he, he's gotten a couple of comments saying, like, dude, can you, like, get on with it already? And I'm like, I kind of want to agree with them, but at the same time, I'm like, it's his playthrough. He wants to explore everything. He's having a good time. Mm -hmm. Who am I to that's, judge? Uh, that's one of the reasons I didn't want to do a, a let's play of my first playthrough of the game, because I knew that it would just be a ton of time wasting. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of in the same boat. Plus, um... You know, I, as I said earlier, my uh, my uh, fucking uh, remote playthrough of PlayStation Four is just is not cooperating with the internet that I have right now. So yeah, but, but I play the game now. I've beaten it. I've actually beaten it once, and I've almost gotten it on platinum for I, PS4. So Yay me. I still I still can't beat the last boss. I'm a bit I'm a little out of practice though. 
Did you beat, uh... What's her face? The... Millennia? You know what I'm talking about? Millennia, did you beat her? Yeah, right. What a silly Where question. Absolutely not. <laughs> not even close. Ah, bleed damage. Just go for bleed damage. That's what I did. I mean... Bleed damage doesn't matter if I can't survive longer than 20 seconds. How the fuck? I mean, I, I think I beat her on a fluke. Like, I got lucky, because I didn't even realize I was doing the amount of damage I was doing. Like, I just saw her, like, you know, start talking, and I'm like, hold on. What? I beat her! What the shit? <laughs> yeah, I'd be shocked, too. Actually, one thing I've been amused by, uh, on DeviantArt, I've started seeing people making uh, fan art of uh, Millennia being shipped with Let Me Solo Her as a couple. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to talk about the Rule 34 ship between Blade and Ronnie, and I'm like, no, thank you. Not surprised by that either. But no, I'm there's, not, there's people have done art of uh, like Millennia, like naked and very pregnant, cuddling with Let Me Solo Her. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yep, he soloed her all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there was somebody that gender bent let me solo um, her, and I, I made the comment of, like, instead of uh, let me solo her, it's like, let her solo me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think, I forgot who, what the name of the artist was, but, like, she's got big boobs, she's scantily clad, like, oh, it's, it's a really good, actually, I fucking DM it to you. Shit. Yeah. All, Burns well says all Elden Ring streams are learning streams, they're all still finding new stuff, that's true. But let's be honest, the very first playthrough is tons of distraction and getting lost. Oh, wow. Found that one real quick. Alright, DM'd it to uh, you. I've got a horrible manpower drain right now because I lost the village that was... And I, I, I wanted to... Let's go. Nice let's go take it back. An and I wanted to post this picture on a uh, Facebook group I'm a part of, but like she's kind of sort of got the camel toe thing going, so I was like, ah, I can't do that because they, mm. they don't like the camel toe for some reason. I guess because Indeed. there's kids there, which understandable. <laughs> that one you damned is cute. Oh, and she's like putting on the, the the pot on the head that, or is that supposed to be let me solo her as a girl? Yes, that's Jennifer's let me solo her. Okay. <laughs> With the uh, camel toe. <laughs> In tow. <laughs> yeah, barely. Thick thighs save lives. Actually, that's not a camel toe at all. That's that's something else. <laughs> that That's just... The thong is so thin that her... Folds are, are peeking out on either side of it. <laughs> That's one way to put it. That is not a camel toe. I, I can see why they objected to that because you can see half of her crotch still. Yeah. That and I'm like, it, it, this pick is obviously meant to be sexual <laughs> more so than anything. Yeah. I need to take like, this thing back though because I, I have a manpower deficit, which means my Real units are not healing. And I can't hire any new ones. Um, this is why you need whammon power. You know what? Let's start infiltrating the Harkonian. This thing... Yeah, front wedgie. There you go. Front wedgie. <laughs> She's got a wedgie uh, in her in her front butt. <laughs> in her front butt. In her water dowser. Oh jeez. <laughs> I had a recruitment office over here before this place got taken out. I need it back. 
if they haven't destroyed it. No, they just pooped in it. I know when the other factions take over your stuff, you can take it back and the buildings are still there, but I'm not sure about neutral raids. I don't see the building. I should be able to still see the building. I might have to remake it. Yeah. You know, this is... It's been an interesting game, especially if you like these kind of slow-paced strategy games. I mean... Oh, I, shit. I think... Now they're writing it down there. Okay. Well... I'll have to run back over there then. Maybe the militia will, will be able to defend it. Probably not, though. They got four guys that... Although, they're going to... Oh, they're fighting from the deep desert. They've run out of supplies. They're fucked. They're natives <laughs> of this planet. Fremen should know better than that. All right, they're safe. <laughs> that what that raid is is kaput. It's like when uh, Napoleon and Hitler invaded Russia during winter. It's like shit. We didn't pack our winter clothes. We're fucked. <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess in this case, they didn't pack their sunscreen. Basically. We'll hide our tracks. Oh no! The ultraviolet way. rays! Fremen should be more asymmetrical. They should be more different, although they... And like I said, there are differences like this, like... The Fremen military have a 30% less supply drain than everybody else. Uh, but I guess that wasn't... That's not it. Deep Desert is serious bad fucking business, so... We're going. It wasn't enough to save them. Really need more money. Actually, speaking of money, I've got enough to uh, buy. Oh, some excuse more. me. No, I won't. Okay, I've Fair got enough. money for for militia, but I don't have manpower for it. Fuck! Oh, it's fucking gopher. What does Liet command? Sorry, there's been a gopher outside my uh, residence that's been attacking the dumpster for some reason. <laughs> what a goof. Okay. Yeah. This is this is my first encounter with we'll gophers. They're strange fast. creatures. We make less noise. We Let's won't see. waste time. Need this guy to finish healing up. Okay. Don't have a resource deficit anymore. Well, that's why he wasn't healing, right? Of course, that makes we sense. Listening. I was at a village, but there was no. I was not allowed to heal because I was on a deficit of manpower stat. Okay. I need to build something else here. Um. Would also be good to buy here. Actually, hold on. Where do I get a 10k hegemony? A lot of more military power. You know what? Build a crafts workshop. Give me more hegemony points. I don't know how crafts do that, but well, I'll take it. We'll get their water. All right, now I'm gonna take this village back. I don't know what's made the Harkonnen calm down, but I'm glad they have. Uh, I'm sure you are, <laughs> given all the bullshit they've been putting you through. Absolutely. Turn the caves. More unit power, but the penalty is spice, which means the penalty to money. I can't afford that right now. <laughs> He learned everything I know about Gophers from Caddyshack. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> it was a documentary, after all. No, there's there's these two Gophers that are, like, just chilling in the backyard. And whenever I open the window, my cat immediately leaps onto the, uh, the windowsill and just, like, looks out and is just, like, waiting for them to spring up and do their shit to the dumpster. <laughs> mm -hmm. You get him, kitty. <laughs> and 
every time she sees them, she starts like, you know, doing the little chirps or whatever. Like, no, you can't attack the gophers, they probably got rabies, you don't want to deal with that shit. <laughs> Right, and then, uh, let's see, when I pulled in earlier today, after I got off my shift, um, <laughs> I saw one of them just, like, bolt across the fucking yard, like, <laughs> like a million miles per hour. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you've seen me drive in before, I don't know why he's freaking out now. Who knows? No, I'm surprised the, uh, uh my neighbor's, uh, dogs haven't scared them off. Like, that actually surprised me, especially with how, uh, they're usually left outside at night. I mean, provided it's not, you know, raining or storming or anything like that. Then the neighbors thankfully let them in. If not, I'd be like, hey, yo, dogs, come chill with me. Give me that one more point of manpower. Here we go. All right, what is this? Discontent in the ranks. Insurgency has taken root in your ranks. All right. Uh, pillage two villages or spend 50 manpower. Oh, that's brutal. We are listening. Well, in my current situation, it is anyway. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the Japanity. <laughs> manpower to do that. Actually, can I cancel this? Eh, it won't matter. It it's only five manpower points. Yeah, I think oh, I'm plus manpower to... upkeep. No, 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 no. no. Vote the fuck against that. <laughs> how much my voting matters. Uh, I'm gonna hop off for now. It was fun hanging out with you, Krendar, as well right. as you chat. Have a good one, sir. We'll you as well. Bye. Bye. Alright, so if I make friends with these sieges, then maybe they will not attack me. That would be nice. Yet. I think I have this one up to 100, which means I can make an alliance to make my militia stronger. Let's do that. All right, I really, really need. Actually, I really need more manpower. What do you need? Yes, Liat. What's going on in the global map here? Ooh, smugglers are really expanding. That could be a problem later. We'll move fast. Still worrying about these hard countings, though. Oh no. I lost the vote, and the manpower upkeep got fucked. Right. <sighs> Just great. Well, this thing's not going to happen. I'm going to lose a military unit. We're here. Don't know which We're one. Going. But I don't think I'll be able to stop it. So maybe I can pillage these real quick. If I can pillage these two villages. That'll prevent it. Not something I normally like to we do, but I don't want to lose a troop.
Yes, Liat. We will help if we can. We'll hunt them down. We'll move fast. The Harkonnen immediately. Oh, ha, sandstorm. Okay. It's a raid. What? Okay, that's bad timing for me. I haven't made friends with them yet, though, so I can't entirely prevent it. Alright, can I... Wait, these guys are counted as being in combat? Why? I didn't actually start the fight. Okay. Bumper. I should be able to survive this much deep desert. Wait. Oh, no. Heck. I only got some of my guys. On the lookout. I should have stopped moving. Taking position. Oh, well. A nice spot for an ambush. Maybe the remaining three will be good enough. Although I guess yes. I could just use another one. Arrakis is our home. Can I not do more than one at yes. a time? Oh well, fuck it. We must go now. We'll wait there. We are listening. Liet? Yes. We will. Arrakis is our home. Yes. Be able to stop this raid in time. Seven, two, okay. Come on, wormy. Liet. We Let's make less noise than a mouse. We're going. We won't waste time. Look at this big turd sliding across the ground. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for the lift. Get him. Start the attack down there yet? Oof, that <clears throat> would have been bad. Liet. Would have been bad. Shadaloose. Well, that's a fancy name. Okay. The sand is our path. 
defended. Oh no. Can't interrupt your shit again. God damn it. Gonna lose that, probably. Hold on, I need, I need to heal my troops. We'll look down for there. invaders there. We'll Actually, I can't heal because manpower deficit. Heck. We'll wait All there. right. We're going. On the lookout. Guys, I need you to clump up a Swift bit more. As the wind. Man, this has been a, a struggle. I don't feel like I'm gonna win this one overall. But I just wanna try to see if I can survive another half an hour. <coughs> if I can survive till the end of the stream. Be what matters. I'm about to lose a, uh, a military unit to this freaking event now, too. <sighs> what does Liet command? We'll get their water. Well, let's talk my manpower deficit at least. So I can heal before I attack. We must go now. I think I have time. Do you mind? for another equipment center now. Where did I... I think it was here. We are listening. There we go. Yes, Liat. Okay. We will help if we can. Now I'm back to where I started when I was considering attacking these guys. Except I'm down one military unit. Your seat detected, huh? Well, they're far enough away from me that I don't think I care about them. I'm almost friends with these guys, though. I don't think they're going to attack me anymore, and these guys probably won't. <coughs> are getting expensive. Okay. Liet? All I can really do now is try to nibble back at the Harkonnen. The Ground troops are, are costing too much.
The desert will surprise you. And this manpower problem I'm having is gonna really suck. Uh, army production is absolutely gimped. Guard coming in. We'll wait Gotta get out of here. We'll move fast. What if I do this and return it back to neutral? We won't waste time. We must go now. I can't Take defend it. Maybe it can defend itself. If I can't have it, neither can you. Fremen camp. Well, I can get some free, uh. Yes. Last crate there. Nice. Guy, I don't know why you're just standing there. You can probably take my two troops, but. I'm not arguing. Just waiting for this guy's help. Is that what this was? Probably. Uh, here comes everybody. On the lookout. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna get out of here. I have not had good luck with military stuff in this game. Guys, On the Request. Greetings. Sure, why not? Oh man. What's this? It's all that. Swordmasters visiting your palace. Hmm. Train new military or gain experience. We will help if we can. my place. Get out of here. We'll look for invaders there. I don't think I'm gonna complete this. I'll make it the uh the secondary one option. Listening. We trust you, Liet. No, I don't have the money. Oh well, Fedekin are crazy expensive. I hadn't noticed that before. I bought two of them like a madman. We're going. We'll avoid the sun. Really, really need more money. I wait. Not a lot 
nothing I can do about it right now. This one, this will give me more money. Beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I like the look at this map though. Forge another warrior. Then I'll fulfill this and give my guys some XP. I just wish I knew the exact effects of the XP. Because there's nothing here that really tells me. Okay, here's level two. They gain power and health. Okay. I don't know how much, though. <clears throat> but they do gain it. We will help if we can. He's got 630 health. Listening. Um, and new warriors have 600 health. So every level is giving them 30 more health. Arrakis is our home. And... So he's got 23 power and he's got 18 power. So f 5 attack and 30 health. That's pretty good. What does Liet command? Liet? We'll hide our tracks. Oh, stuff's happening. I uh, can't do anything there anyway. Development research. Uh, lay of the land. I'm going to send Slurry upkeep, and we'll take that. This is done. Ready for patrol. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I'm friends with both of these sieges up here, so they should not raid me anymore. Oops, I missed a communications request. It wasn't to trade those, so it was probably just somebody bitching at me. We are listening. We trust you, Liet. Yeah, and that one second you made, those guys level. Can. Nice. Liet. Liet. On the lookout. Lead us to freedom. All right. Let's try messing with the Harkonnen again once this guy gets here. We are listening. Yet. Gives us something to do. Uh, let's see. I probably buy some militia as well. We trust you, Liet. All right, you lab. You can get some right now. Oh, you're not gonna attack that shit, are you? God damn it! Smugglers just trying to shit with me now. What a time for it.
to generate more water. Uh, yeah, I'm losing water because of that up there, too. Man, all right. Uh, I think I have a wind trap there already. There. Go here. No. Okay, I'm going to make wind trap down here. Probably just gonna break me even though. <sighs> this game is hard. Where are these things? We trust it's you now. Because of course it is. I don't know. These guys can get some, though. That's something I know. I'm also receiving some, fortunately. This is a close fight. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. to buy any more. Alright. Well, actually, I can afford to buy a little bit more, but... Let's call it here for now, anyways. We got a good idea of what this game's like. I don't think I'm gonna win this overall struggle. I got off to a bad start. That has been Dune Spice Wars, though.